How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. As promised, we do have some universes content. Fight or Faye, the Queen of Hearts. And Vash, the Stampede. Not quite my hero, but the UVS guys were gracious enough to send this out early. I've actually been sitting on this one for a cheeky minute. The new additions to the universes universe. Sees the Vash the Stampede new anime. Versus another classic in Cowboy Bebop, the Bounty Hunters versus, I mean, I guess, the world's biggest bounty. Alright, so I'm going to be going first, going to check, and so, unfortunate, on the second one, do it for three, do it for four, check a three. My first turn, that's pretty rough. For zero, for one, for two, or three even. So still gets the lucky check there. We actually did play one game off camera that went pretty well, all honesty. It's actually a pretty good game, which is one we didn't want to like, because we figured that our first game back in the UVS system would be a little bit slow. So we were just like, all right, we'll do fine. My mulligan, I was a little greedy on it. going to be us getting two and we are just going to call our turn there so the fate valentine uh valentine engine basically the way it works is you are flipping cards face down and if you have more flip cards than your opponent then you can kind of bully with uh, adding more damage um adjusting your speed and things like that but the vash uh the vash the stampede deck as well has a whole lot of Flips in order to try and keep you kind of level. Stay one step ahead of the bounty hunters. And also it does have uh, some pretty heavy mill cards. Just got really close to milling out in our practice game. So we're going to have to tap one in order to meet the four cost. Then we're going to enhance with a fate to flip face down. And it's going to add plus two damage. A flip on the other side is going to increase the HP by two. Well, they moved it by three. Unless, does Vash start with 28 HP? But yeah, this is something I, it, it was a stun. Like, I should have been trying to stop those cars from committing. The, uh, the underhanged bounty is uh, very, very good uh, against this deck because it just keeps lowering your speed down to much more blockable things. The problem though with the Vash deck is whilst you do have really, really great ways of lowering your speed, a lot of your blocks are mids. So whilst you are going to be dropping your speed to very, very blockable levels, you're still going to be taking chip damage. So the idea is that if you're playing into Vash, you're just going to have to accept that he's probably going to shrink your speed down to nothing, but you're just going to have to hit him super hard. Uh, oh, yeah, quick rollback here. Um, we attempt it, but we're short by one. But we realized that the one of the cards that was committed has the effect of reduce the ability, uh, the difficulty by one. So I was one short, and that meant that I was actually able to just tap the two because the difficulty was reduced by one, which means this is actually now going to be swinging for pretty decent damage. I'm going to finally see that block go through. Using the enhance to unflip the flip damage and also... Yeah, we're just going to leave it unflipped for now because we already are going to get some decent damage. I think it's already it's a 5 damage attack that got boosted as well. So we're looking pretty nice. But we have committed everything. So we're hoping that just didn't draw into an attack card because otherwise the crackback is going to be pretty hard. Alright, so a lot of attacks ending up in discard pile. Vash's effects do tend to give you better bonuses if the top card of your discard pile is a attack card. So a lot of it is also trying to manipulate your attacks to try and get them where you need them to be. So pretty set up in the stage area. Definitely playing for a late game. So my goal is, I mean, I don't really have the option to do much more than just throw attacks at them. But we just can see a four difficulty check is going to check into it for five. So we are good. I'm gonna go for the Fey Valentine flip in order to go plus two. 
So it is only a, this one's a four speed. And we're gonna trash my momentum in order to do plus five damage. So again, we're just trying to hit hard because we're expecting our speed to get dropped. And we're out of enhancers now, so we're just gonna let them do their defensive enhancers. It's gonna do both of these speed droppers back to back. Or actually no, it wants to instead do the flip to change their discard pile to put an attack on top. Then that suspended bounty is going to do minus three speed rather than having to tap the minus twos. It just keeps them safe for when they have to block. Again, they're going to be putting that block through as a mid. So it is going to shrink off some of the damage. Nice decent check there, so it's going to be able to do it nice and comfortably, but still decent grip of damage thanks to it being a, a mid block. Do hit into both of them and we're thinking about going for one last Little extension, but we should probably just call it there. Ooh. Four plus one, two, three. So that's going to be a seven check. We're going to hit a five. Tap two. So that's going to be a seven. And then we're going to go for the Fey Enhance. Again with the flip. And that's going to be all of our enhances. We've got no momentum to just burst for extra damage. We're going to go for a destroy. Uh, destroy a face down. Oh, yeah, this is head smasher. So destroy a face down foundation to add four damage We're pretty confident that Based on the last one that they're starting to run out of gas They did extend quite a few cards in hand to get foundations But it means they didn't have many cards in hand to block So we just tried to push our damage as best we could in that turn knowing that we were going to get some of our foundations back Even though we had to destroy one which obviously means we're going to be down that resource permanently just getting a little bit of extra value and we do get to get the foundation or uh, the momentum back under so looks like we're finally actually seeing our attacks come out now on the side of Vash get to crack back Vash actually does have some really cool attacks uh, we've seen uh, we've seen Vash do fan the hammer one of his kind of unique cards where it's enhanced lets you mill the top four and for every ranged attack shown you get to uh, add additional damage to it so I was getting shot sometimes for like 12 damage which was pretty filthy hasn't happened yet in this game but the practice game practice game came down to the wire right now we're still sitting pretty on 21 HP since there's been no no damage we're gonna go for a well, we're considering going for a block, but we realized that because of the speed of the attack, I think it's like an eight speed attack, we would have had to like play this down and then the check would have to be a six, a six check in order to get it without boosting. Because we've only got one commit left, so pretty unlikely situation. We're just going to have to take the damage on the chin. as well these attacks are coming through yeah we're just getting shot up from 21 down to 11 in one turn and the action is going to come through here we're still like we looked up actions in the previous game because we still weren't fully sure but we understood them kind of just be another type of foundation so just going to put that in their stage area but if any more experienced players can kind of explain actions to us we think we played it right and if not, I guess if you're both playing it wrong. <laughs> if you're both playing it wrong, like, playground rules. We're doing our best. These starter decks are actually quite nice. Uh, if you already are in the UVS system, like maybe you played the My Hero card game already, or you played like Mega Man or any of the other older ones, then this coming with just the deck and a little card book that has all of the cards in them uh, it's actually kind of nice not getting like duplicate playmats and stuff like that. We did bust out the My Hero one, uh, so both of us had like a frame of reference. I kind of remembered the whole game uh, and like where everything was, but just needed a little bit of a refresher. So we're actually using the Toko and Himiko map. And also now we can actually play those matchups as well um, more frequently. We're actually going for an attack. 
I mean, you can see that the damage is pretty close. The damage is pretty close to lethal here. We're going to go for a destroy to go plus four. Ooh, we're thinking about it. Because we know that we're probably going to get blocked. So we're wondering whether we should just keep the resource on board and just go for the safer... If we go for the fae... If we go for the Fey Enhance, then we can just flip it, take the plus two instead of the plus four. Kind of get a feel for what their hand looks like blocking-wise, because they didn't commit super hard in the last in the last turn. So instead, now with three flipped face down, we can use the uh, Enhance of the Daug, which is if you have three face down, then you can draw one. The other one is uh, during an attack, if you have eight face down, you can get a power boost. But instead, we're just going for the draw power here just to give us a little bit of extra resource on our turn. They're going to use the uh, response in order to put it to the bottom of the deck in order to draw because they are low on cards. And I don't think they have something that blocks completely. I think they only have like mid blocks. So that's going to shrink off some of the damage. You can see us going for the two rather than the four does mean that they got to shrink off down to one damage rather than two. So sitting on eight, we are going to check it and we're going to be forced to suspend one. And then we're going to use the Fey, uh, the Fey Enhance to flip for a two. And if they don't have the block, we are going to use the momentum. Oh, we are going to use, yeah, we're going to use the momentum and discard it. The roundhouse kick plus four damage. And then we get to use an enhance. The head smasher as well. Destroy a face down one and that is going to be letting it swing through. Just unable to block it. So we are going to collect the bounty on Vasher Stampede. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more for UVS games, then make sure to let us know in the comments down below. Once again, massive thank you to UVS Games for sending out these new starter decks and getting us back into the universe's scene. I'd like to put out more content throughout the new year. So till next time, stay safe.